Hi everyone, uh, in this video I'm gonna show you my code to simulate the DVB-T system. Uh, it's a broadcasting system uh, used for uh, transmitting and receiving uh, digital uh, TV channels. Okay, uh, It is the main uh, system used in, in, in Europe for uh, transmitting and receiving uh, TV channels. And uh, this is the DVB-T. I'm gonna do another video for the DVB-T2, which is just a uh, modification and uh, some uh, enhancement in the uh, DVB-T system, okay? Okay, so in this code, I simulate the whole system. First, you put some parameters, and then you, uh, uh, there are three main parts in this code. The first is the transmitter, and this is the one which uh, takes in uh, the data, and then uh, encode it and make it uh, uh, where there is, there is the, so the source encoder and there is a channel encoder, there is a lot of steps, okay? And make it ready for transmission. Then there is a channel part, okay? And in this part, there is a channel part. In this part, you add some errors, okay? You add burst error. You add the error effect of a channel. Now, the channel is basically the, the, the air, the, the atmosphere. You send the signals through air. And so there is uh, some error uh, that can happen through that. So this is channel adds it to the signal, this error to simulate this effect. Now, the receiver, the third board, is the one which takes the signal and decode it again to get the message. And the message here will be an image. We will use an image as um, uh, a way to simulate this process. And the receiver has uh, uh, this decoding uh, mechanism that will detect the error made by the channel. So it can get the, the the best estimation for the sent message okay so also you will find with the code this uh, two images here to show you the detailed blocks of the uh, transmitter and the receiver so you can see that this is the transmitter and you can see that this you, you have here all the details used in the code actually <coughs> I, I i built the code built on this uh, system description and you can see here uh, that the receiver is just the, the same process as the transmitter, but in the uh, opposite uh, order, right? It is it is the vice versa of, of whatever happens in the transmitter is reversed back in the receiver in order to get back to the uh, to the input uh, message. Okay, okay. So you can, you will see all this in the code. And, uh, what is the input to the code? Well, at the beginning, you have two options. You have either a random source or an input input. So, what you do is that you upload, I'm gonna use this image as a test. Okay, this is a simple image I used to test the code. And so, it simulates that, uh, the message I want to send is this, uh, this image and then it simulates the whole process of the DVBT system to decode and then get back this uh, message. Also, it shows the plots of the whole process, okay, and uh, shows you the constellation uh, uh, plot, and we will see all this. Also, there is an option of a random source. The random source is what you see on the TV of like this black and white dots on the TV. This is this is a, this is noise or a random source. So you also have this option. So let's let's uh, try right away the code. Okay, this is the one you run to get the simulation results. So the first thing is that you choose either you upload an image or you use random source. So let's upload an image, and we're gonna use this one, and then we wait until it it completes the whole simulation process. At the end, you're gonna see a lot of figures, okay, and some uh, some results, some data of calculating the error and uh, the correction and so on. Okay, so it takes some time to simulate the whole thing from the transmitter to the, to the channel and then the receiver and so on. 
course you can use another input image you not know, this one you don't have to use this one I'm just using this one as a test you can use uh, any image you want but of course as the image get bigger and bigger with more pixels it takes uh, more time simulation but uh, as it gets smaller so less data in the message of course it will take less time Okay, so it finishes now. Here is some uh, calculations. Now we see that the channel error probability is only eight percent, and we see that the uh, BAR is about uh, three point one percent. Okay, and here is the burst BAR, which is a uh, uh, rate of error, burst error uh, rate. Okay, it's zero point zero two. Okay, and the code rate is half. So this is uh, the simulation. Now here is the sent picture and here is the received picture. So we can see that the effect of the noise is minimized, but it is still there. Okay. Uh, now we have the constellation plot, and we can see it before the noise. It's a perfect circle because we are using uh, BSK modulation, phase modulation. So it is a perfect circle, but the effect of the noise from the channel, as we can see, we get this effect of uh, noise right and then what you have here is that you can see a sample of the signal okay this is a sample of the signal being uh, here at the sampling phase it's an analog signal then it is uh, sampled then this sample is encoded okay uh, to binary bits okay and you can see here it is, this is done then the, here is the uh, code coming from the convolution encoding okay just to see how the process goes. Uh, okay, you will have all the files in the description of the video, and I will do another video for the DVBT2 system. Uh, I hope you like this video and I hope you subscribe to my channel. You can get the code from the link in the, in the description. Thank you for watching.